official morning everybody welcome to today's vlog good official morning from long beach california the ship has stopped there's no view to see none whatsoever but well actually just kidding let me show you we are back where we started oh i have a dress on and i don't know if that is what i want to wear but Ooh, the smell of marijuana is potent out here today. I don't know how these people are able to pack it in their bags and bring it on the ship, but we have smelled it the entire trip. Sometimes people can't do without certain things, so it is what it is. We are back in Long Beach, like I just said. Um, we don't have too much planned. The one thing that we do need to do is in about like two hours, we need to get off the ship. It is not an option at the moment. They're trying to do their safety, blah, blah, blahs, and more blah, blah, blahs, and a little bit more blah, blah, blahs. So what we are going to do is finish packing. We're almost, almost done because we started yesterday. We're just going to walk around and double check everything to make sure that we're not leaving anything behind. So let's go back in and show you guys what the room looks like so far. Are you going in? All right. Okay. I know. Thank you, bud. All right, so we just pretty much need to zip things up, I think. That's where we're at right now. You'll help me put this on the bed, right? Ready, Freddy's? We're gonna bring it on up here. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. That looked easy. It was. And voila, I did a great job. Just kidding, Ryan did. And now, the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Push it down. Wait, there's up. another jacket that needs to fit in there. Are you serious? No. <laughs> Silas bought this as a souvenir. You really wanted it. You keep opening it and opening it and opening it and different things come out of it. Or different, I don't know, I'll have to show you guys, but the boys don't like it and they want it painted. I never said that Malachi doesn't like it, so we're gonna paint it. I think. Whoa! No, no, no! Let's not do that right now. We're packing and not making I'm messes. It all black, so I can't see it. All right, this is being promoted to to the squishing factory. It's gonna burst. Look. Dunsky. Oh yeah, good lighting. <laughs> what in the world? That awesome. was a horrible lighting. All right, so now. Oh, I've got a bruise right here. Owie, I got dark, you guys. I'll show you guys what I bought. I brought my friend Elsa this bracelet, anklet, whatever she, I think it's an anklet actually. That's what I'm gonna wear it as. Focus, focus. All right better view of it here this is the one i bought her and i got myself one also because i loved it so much i actually bought myself one first and then right next to it was this color so i like the little let me see if i can show you guys any closer up of it because it is really pretty there we go um, I really like the little details of it. So, so you got a couple other things for family and stuff. Uh, magnets, majority oh, yes. of it is magnets and stuff. But this is it. I'm going to put this on my ankle. And then hopefully you guys will get a picture of what it looks like in a little bit. Couldn't put this on so I had to call for help. Jonah to the rescue. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. I have a match. All right, here we go. Just, you know, a little something. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too fancy. I have a silver one at home that I took off that I had gotten in Florida. But I like the simplicity of this one, if you ask me. All right, so we are lining this up. Good job, buddy. The, hi there. I'm gonna put all this here. We had a little bit of trouble pulling this up, but it worked out. The polka dot bag goes in here. All right, we got a bubby. <laughs> and the rest of our stuff, I think. So this is gonna help us figure out if we have everything in the room now. Okay, stand against the wall, buddy. People are walking oh, by. Oh, you got in, hold on. Sorry, stand against the wall. All right, what are you? Excuse me, answer her. <laughs> All right, do, 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 do. This is the thing to the bunk bed. It's kind of cool, actually, no, no, the no, ladder. Uh, unlock it. Clear. 
There you go. Clear. Uh, and then nothing is in the safe. Right. I don't think we even use the refrigerator. All right. This is trash. That was trash. Empty. <laughs> Just use the camera to see if there's anything down here. Oh, oh jackpot! Jackpot! Papa got it. Thank you. Did you open the drawer in the room? I did. Okay. And, well, I didn't, and that's where the charger was. Okay. All right. So we found some stuff that was worth it. Oh, what's this? Hopefully it's empty. Let's see. Yep, empty it is. We've kind of already looked down here. This, I don't think we even used this. It wasn't very convenient, but there we go. Sad, sad news, you guys. I never got to finish my book. I did get... How far into it did I get? I got to page 144. <sighs> That's all right. That is all right. It was a good read though. And then nothing in here. Nothing on the bunk. I think we're good. We never really did anything back there. We didn't take anything outside. That's it, buddy. Are you ready? All right, out we go. You don't wanna leave? Well, we're gonna find a cozy spot and then we're gonna relax, okay? All right, you guys, we had a fun time on the ship, but I am excited to get back home to my house that has a little bit more square footage than this little room that we are in. So, Papa already looked up there. Good idea, though. He climbed oh, up there. Fine. I know. I would not forget my phone. We are ready to go. I'm just going to throw trash away. Like, this gentleman doesn't need to be picking up my toothpick. Don't do them. Panic. Put on your trumples. Okay. Goodbye, room. You've been kind, but I'm excited about going back home. Seven days was a long time. Actually, a little bit more because you guys know that we got that Airbnb first. So, farewell, farewell, farewell. I'll turn it to a little cooler. And we are done. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Goodbye, room 6441. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you for everything. All right. See you next time. Alrighty. So, yeah, it's gonna be full. The trouble with everybody trying to leave on this day, which there's nothing that we can do about it, is there's a lot of luggage and everybody's trying to use the elevator. So we're just, you know, here with all our stuff. I'm just waiting for the elevator. We're still early because nobody can really get off the um, ship still. Hit the elevator car. Yeah, you don't see those. Road it until you get to where you want. Yeah, just stay in it and don't go. Right. So Stop running into until you get to the fourth <laughs> All right, so we should have just got onto the elevator and not gotten off until they make an announcement saying we can get off. Just put the kids in the corner and get on your iPads. <laughs> We're almost off. After being squished in the elevator, we made it down to where we need to get off. They said that they weren't going to take people off the ship for like another hour or so. But they're already taking people off the ship, so I'm glad we made it down here. There's a line now. Right, so, I've never met the brother. Here we are, just waiting. They are asking that you have a mask on as you are leaving. So when we, I have one from when we got here, but I'd rather just have a brand new one because we've been to like a lot of different places, if you ask me. So just got a brand new one from them. Seat closed. Have fun. Be safe. Silas, put into the right, okay? Ship. Hello, homebound land. Yay! I'm so excited, you guys. So excited to be off the ship. Silas, no running. This blanket was on Silas and it took a little collapsing. That's all right. We have been walking and walking and walking and turning and walking and turning and walking from all the way up there to there to here. And it looks like we have more curves. It's kind of nice that they have these walls here though because like when you think about it we have been in different countries you know so it's nice that 
they're protecting the ones that stayed, you know what I mean? So, I think that was our last curve. Bye bye, thank you. And another long way to go. Okay, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. Well, if they shop at Costco, we would have been screwed. They have all of the luggages on that side. They just look like fishes in the sea. And there's like they have different zones and stuff. So if you did have them bring your luggage down, you have to go to your certain zones and get your luggage. Which now that I'm looking at it, I'm really grateful Ryan was just saying also that we didn't do that. Also, as you're leaving, there's two different lines. One if you have passports, and then the other one is if you had a birth certificate. Because as you know, we did travel out of the country. It seems as though the line with the birth certificate is shorter than the line with the passport, which I thought it would be the opposite way. I don't know what I thought actually, but I think. I'm just thinking like international flights and stuff like that like when we go to Fiji if you're I don't know but one line is this line with the passports is definitely longer but, um, I don't know the process of this so we're gonna learn together all right we made it to an elevator we went through customs and orders and all of that fun stuff so in the carnival cruise itself once you get into the elevator you have to push a button and here, do you, have the time? you do. So, do you have time? Did you have the time? All right, buddy. Let's go, let's go. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna grab my bag from right behind you, okay? Oh, sorry. Thanks, guys. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, thank you. You too, guys. All right. People are so friendly. Like, this is, this is what vacations are about. They're like, oh, have a good time. How was the trip? Just small talk on the elevator. Woohoo! We're gonna make a couple stops. We got about six hours of a drive back home. It hasn't been started for over a week though. I don't think we've never not started our car for that long. Holy cow. Try to stay away from that, okay? That is black smoke. Blue smoke, whatever. All right, guys, we have reached our car. I've missed you. This is the point where I attempt to help Ryan and he doesn't communicate because when he's doing one thing, that is the one thing he's going to do. So I just came in the car. The boys wanted to get on their iPads, which I did tell them that if they help me pack everything up, that they can get on their iPads. So that is gonna be just fine with me. We decided to bring our car, so we have to pay for the parking. So I have this to get here. I'm gonna drive off and get this all situated. But first, Ryan actually has to put stuff. I'm showing you guys nothing, but we have a rack, so he's gonna put the luggage on the rack, and then we'll be on our way to donate a little bit more money for parking. Holy cow, you guys, we drove. 315 miles away to get to this destination to leave the country. That was kind of cool. We are now at 8.54, waiting on Ryan. It seems as though he's got majority of it up there. It's his hand, kind of scary if you look at it all of a sudden. But I think, I think, I think we're almost done. 8.54, we've been at it for 15 minutes. Let be patient, kids are occupied. I'm caught up on social media. And we just sit and wait. Sounds so bad. That is so scary, y'all. We're at like inches from a clearance. Not even inches, like it's that right at yeah. seven feet, so it just touches the. Oh! I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, the pipe would have definitely done it. Let's see if we can give you guys an idea of what we're working with. Let me out for a second. I'm 100% not comfortable with it, but Ryan says we're fine, so I'm just gonna keep driving because he says we're fine. He changed a few things around. I mean, I do feel like I can't be like. Goodbye to our luggage, you guys. This is. Here, just stop right here for a second. I do not think this is a good idea. Oh my goodness. He's wiggling it.
Let's see if that fixed anything. Nope. I'm gonna keep recording because something's gonna happen because this is a bad idea, you guys. Bad idea. Yeah, that just tugged it all the way back. So Ryan's gonna hang on to it until we get out of the garage. It's all we need is just a few millimeters clearance. We're in the third floor. Oh my gosh, these people are gonna load up here. This is great. We're gonna be needing a new bag by the time we get back home. Guaranteed. <laughs> We're now to the third floor. Those people kind of screwed me over because I had to go back to the other side because they were parked in the middle. I know you hear that. Exit left. Okay. I wish I had it in me to not look up Don't each look time. Up. I think I'm better off driving than not driving because I would have been panicking as a passenger. There's a security up here. I wonder if she'll say anything. No, we're fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. It's actually getting better. It was just that one floor was a, like the floor that we parked on was fine and then we went further and it got a little bit worse. Where do I go? Right? Exit. Right. Exit. We made it. We just don't like it, but we made it. Yeah, there's a little bit more clearance, which is interesting though because wouldn't you want to have the same clearance like all inches, centimeters, everything. Especially as you're getting higher, you know, but I don't know, who am I? Just a person that has stuff on their rack. Time to pay. Good morning. Thank you, sir. You too. Go. Look at those angry balls. Goodbye, Carnival Panorama. One way. My only option is to go right. I wonder if we'll she see our ship, like a good view or not. What was the clearance in the garage? Two six point eight. I thought. Look right there. Maximum seven. That's what I thought. Seven. Seven. All right, our cruise ship is somewhere. I'm not really worried about it, but Behind not a good view of it, but we are gonna go drive until we need a little break. Oh my gosh, you guys, six-ish hours later. Home sweet home. I'm just gonna follow this one. Here we are, home sweet home. Good job, buddy. I don't know. Welcome home, son. Forgot that our yard was done. Everything looks so nice and peaceful out here. I shared with you guys the process of packing and leaving a cruise ship. I'm also sharing with you guys what it looks like when you get home. At least it's unloaded off of the car. And on top of that, at least our vehicle came back with our luggage and it didn't get destroyed on top of the rack as we were driving here. I had a pretty emotional drive back, you guys. So you guys know that my sister-in-law left due to some unforeseen circumstances. We came home to flowers for her and a card and she's not even in the country. So 
We are home now. It is 4th of July weekend. We're gonna be grateful for the freedom that we have. We have church tomorrow. Nobody has any symptoms, nothing whatsoever, not even a single sniffle. I have a headache, but that's because I was crying watching a Facebook Live of a memorial service that took place all the way in Fiji, so that was that. Um, gonna be grateful this weekend for the freedom that we have, for the freedom that my sister-in-law had to be able to leave from the middle of the ocean to the airport in Mexico, to San Francisco, back home, and then to Fiji. Just like little things like that that may we never take for granted. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm grateful that our car came out of the garage. I hope you guys really, truly enjoyed our journey with us. It is so good to be home. I have already jumped in the shower and jumped out. I didn't wash my face because I wasn't ready for that. I think I, I thought I wanted to go take a walk. Not I think, I thought I wanted to take a walk. But I went outside with this tank top on and realized it's a little too chilly for me. It is 74 degrees. Well, no, that's inside. It's like probably pretty close to that. It's like low 80s and there's a brisk breeze. So I'm wrapping it up here. I'm going to probably start laundry and chill with the kids and the family. We need groceries. We have nothing to eat. We just have water. Thanks again for being a part of our journey. Hopefully you'll catch us on Instagram or our next vlog. Oh, Silas wants to show you guys a pretzel. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Mind blown. I know. See you guys next time.